Uh, hello everyone. In this video, I want to share how I solved the big problem in Bubble, building nice and modern looking user interfaces. Please watch till the end. Uh, I want to share this knowledge with you and also have a small present that I will share in the end of this video. The present will be valuable for anyone who is building with Bubble and want to um, extend his app functionality to make some nice toss notifications in Bubble. Usual development process from my perspective as a Bubble developer is I start building an app, I build uh, user interface elements, so I put some inputs, change colors, uh, shadows, borders and uh, and stuff. Then I attach workflows to, to the to the elements and I repeat this process again, again and again. Uh, for me, uh, it kind of the pain point of this because especially if you start from Figma, you basically repeat the process like again and again. It's, you you uh, lose a lot of time that you can spend for actual building the the, the meat of the of the project, like the workflows, thinking about backend and stuff. So I was basically kind of confused and uh, asked myself, uh, can I do this better? My solution to this problem was have a library with pre-created, pre-made elements that pre uh, designed before beforehand, copy, paste it to new app and use it there. With one important uh, note that this library should be the kind of act as a foundation of the of any given app because I don't want to repeat myself to like use the same design logic everywhere. I want to be able to use it as a foundation, as a template and start building design on top of it. And I want yeah, to reuse this library everywhere. This is how the next starter kit was born. What is this? Uh, this is the template that I offer for free with all my go-to solutions, go-to elements that I can reuse from app to app. As I said before, this uh, template uh, should act as a foundation for your own styles, for your own design logic. So you, you duplicate this template, you already have the foundation, but then you start adding your magic to it. So you change colors, you change fonts, maybe you replace some elements with your own, you replace some icons. So this is kind of the foundation to save your time on, on building, on, 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 on repeating uh, every time the same stuff. I will leave the link in the description so you can download and play with this template yourself. So let's check the inside of the template. Uh, as soon as you duplicate the template and save it to your, to your own bubble account, um, you have a lot of stuff there here. Uh, to explore, you just click on top of, uh, of um, here of page explorer in bubble and you see a lot of reusable elements. Mm, for example, let's go just a random pop-up. So it's like contact as pop-up. Important note that the, uh, there are no uh, workloads attached. So you need to uh, build your workloads yourself based on your, uh, uh, based on your app logic. But all the, all the elements responsive. So they are already um, usable for the mobile devices also. So for example, if you go to the header element and we will try to um, resize the page, you will see it collapse and uh, right here we, we can see, but, but the icon appears. Also, um, what's interesting, yes. So what we have here, like sidebars, tabs, uh, different style of tabs, uploaders. We also have some empty states here. Uh, we also have some buttons and text presets right here. So you don't need to, to spend time uh, creating this text styles. You can just go here, uh, change the fonts for your like, uh, for your taste, and um, save the, the text style as your, as your own uh, style variables in your app. Now, right here we see the different, um, the different buttons, and you also see the, the special, uh, special like kind of tags here. This tags is from this plugin, the hero icons, this uh, plugin allows you to add icons to the, to the button, but but you all uh, but you can all uh, only see it in the live live app, not the not the preview uh, editor. Two two types of tables, the based on the table element, the newly tab table element that was um, that was added to Bubble uh, like a couple months ago, and uh, using the old way of doing stuff that with a repeating group. Uh, tabs, sidebars, headers, uh, tables, section headers, pop-ups, uh, different button styles, uh, also pages. So 
I created uh, two different pages for login and sign up. So you can like uh, just copy this page to your app and you already have the login page. Change the icons, colors, and you're ready to go. Save a lot of time. Super nice. So basically, it is, uh, it is what, is, what it is. I will leave the link in the comments. You can go check it yourself, duplicate, play with this, uh, leave um, some comments, some thoughts, what you think about this template, about these components. I'm planning to add in more stuff to it. So as soon as I build more components, I will just copy it from the from the app I'm working on and uh, to the to the template and save it there. So you can like in a like couple of months, uh, uh, duplicate the template one more time and have like a version two with the updated updated uh, components. Uh, let me know if it's valuable for you, what you think about it, as soon as you, as you play it with it. This will be super valuable for me, because I, I can improve it and make it better. Okay, this is it, and as I promised, I have um, one small present to you. So during the holidays, I was working on this uh, plugin. This, this plugin lets you add nice TOS notifications. What is TOS notification? I will show it to you in a second. So this is this is kind of the notification that you can place like somewhere on the screen, like show some alert or some warning or success notification to the user. What, why I built this plugin? Because I found a library that let you create this nice smooth, you see like this smooth animation on this toast notification and I really like it. It looks really professional and nice looking. I think it can be used like across different apps because uh, this, this plugin uh, allow you two styles black and white and uh, colorful so if you have some more serious you know some some more like business oriented application you can just stick to the to the black and white style while if you like building more like uh, uh, consumer uh, consumer faced apps you can use this colorful style uh, i will also like yeah as I mentioned, this plugin is uh, on the marketplace. This plugin is free. You can just add it to your app and start using it. You can check it. How you, uh, I will uh, explain it. How you can add it to your app. So you go to the plugin section, add plugins, and look for Sonar. Uh, S O N N E R, and you will see the the plugin. Just install it. Put the plugin on the page. Put the plugin on the page. Like you will see the sonar sonar icon here. Put it on the page, and you are ready to use it in the workflows. <clears throat> How to use it in the workflows? So we go to the plugins. We add sonar here. We look for sonar plugin somewhere in the right here. We have it on the page, and then we attach the workflow to the to the button. So. What I will just look for sonar, notify a sonar. You put your text description and the type of like blank success error. Uh, based on this, you will have different icons show up. You can also add a description here. While using the plugin, you can check here. So if you want to minimal minimal um, the colors, you can show documentation to understand better. If you want minimal, just keep it like it is. If you want colorful, uh, rich colors check the minimal to uh i mean if you want to minimal check minimal to yes if you want colorful check minimal to no it 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 is no but by, by default allow close let you add the close uh, uh icon that let user close the notification otherwise it will be on the on the um, as uh, on the screen till the end of the um, duration of notification you said duration when you set them when you, when you set the message itself, you see here, you can choose, it, it is in milliseconds. So for, if you want two seconds, you, you put 2000 here. So yeah, this is kind of my small present for you. Uh, this is kind of my, uh, my experiment. I was experimenting while building this. I hope you find it valuable. I will leave a link in the description also. Let me know what you think about this plugin. Uh, if you have some thoughts, how to improve it, how to make it better, how to make it more usable. Appreciate your help and appreciate your comments and thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. All the links in the description, all the contact info about like how to contact me and stuff. If you need any help with bubble development and uh, building custom application. Also in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.